Hello Capricorns! Welcome to my channel Luna Sync Tarot and welcome to your love reading for April 2019. Please like this reading so more people can see it, subscribe, and click on the bell for notifications about future readings. I will be doing a new moon reading before April 5th when we have our new moon in April, so tune back in for that. Um, all right, let's sync up. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's look at your energy first. I want to see what you're contributing to the relating or to the relationship or to the situation that you're thinking about. And again, this is for April 2019. And let's look at your energy. What energy is Capricorn bringing to the table here? I hope you all are having a great start to your spring. The weather is starting to warm up around here and it's really lovely. My daffodils are blooming um, and my crocuses are blooming and everything is blooming. Um, people are sneezing, coughing, um, it's allergy season. So if you see me rubbing my nose or sniffling, that's why. One card for Capricorn's energy. What is Capricorn bringing to the table in terms of this relationship, in terms of this relating? Um, where is Capricorn at right now? Ooh, some sort of conflict. Five of Swords. So it's a win at another's expense. It's a um, it's a victory that that um, doesn't feel good. Something you were potentially um, involved in a conflict with your loved one, um, and there was uh, pain on both sides. I mean, obviously, conflict is painful, right? Um, but you're, you're really in the space of feeling like the pain of this conflict. Capricorn. Um, okay, let's look at your partner, your love interest, or your, <clears throat> your, um, your partner. We have two cards that just flew out. We have the Three of Wands first, and we have the Six of Cups. So this is somebody from the past, um, potentially coming back into the picture. It is potentially um, feelings of nostalgia, feelings of um, feelings of the past, feelings from the past coming back into the future, um, past emotions. And this is a card, the Three of Wands is a card of um, putting your energy out into the world and waiting for feedback. In this circumstance I see that this person has their back turned um, and I feel like they are investing a lot of their focus on situations that have happened in the past and are not being fully present with you and your relationship or in your relating. I don't like to use the term relationship because some people are not in a full-on relationship. Maybe they're just kind of dating or it's a friendship. Um, so I'm going to have to think about that and find a, a new term for that. But let's look at what, at what happens when your energies come together. What are the composite energies like? Okay. Again, we had a, a bunch of cards fall out. We have the Two of Pentacles. And so this is about juggling. Um, having a lot of balls in the air, having a lot of practical day-to-day -day responsibilities to care for. It's also, it comes after the Ace of Pentacles, which is about a new beginning in terms of um, like home or finance or work or projects. Um, it's, it has to do with something practical. And so the two speaks to moving forward with that practical new beginning and really starting to put in the work and put focus on developing that new beginning. Again, this is composite energies. Two more cards. We have the justice reverse. So something doesn't feel quite right. Something doesn't feel like it's settled in your favor or something doesn't feel um, completely uh, copacetic between the two of you. Something feels unjust, potentially. And then we have the queen of pentacles too. So Capricorn, um, you are an earth sign and pentacles is your suit. And so this could represent you. So feeling off-centered, off-balanced, ungrounded, un, um, and um, out of your element. Those are the composite energies. Let's look at what needs to be integrated, what needs to be understood, what needs to be processed. 
And then we'll come back and we'll, we're doing right now like an overview. So I'll do a quick read of each of the cards and then we'll get back into some detail and potentially pull some clarifying cards um, in order to answer some questions around the cards that are already here. But for now, let's look at what needs to be understood, what needs to be integrated, what needs to be processed. What's, oh, something flipped up right away. Page of Cups. There is a new offering in love. It's a new emotional offering. Um, an emotional communication, a heart-to-heart -heart connection. Um, the apprentice is somebody who is sort of a novice in love, so maybe not having a whole lot of experience with their emotions, but learning, learning about it. Um, and that's what needs to be understood. Potentially one or the other um, needs to be given some leeway, some understanding, some forgiveness around um, their around the way that they present themselves emotionally, the way that they, um, the way that they are emotionally, sort of like, I, I'm just getting the sense that it's somebody that doesn't, is learning about their emotion, they're not resistant to their emotional life, but they're learning about it and they're learning how to communicate their emotions. Um, and they're, they're just, they're a novice. They don't, they haven't had a whole lot of experience with doing that. They're open to doing that. They're open, open opening to you and in terms of their emotions, they're opening to you emotionally, but they're um, they're at the start of it. It's a it's a new thing for them, so um, there needs to be some understanding around that in in regard to um, one or the other. I'm getting this sense that it's your partner, but it could be you as well. It could go vice versa, back and forth. Um, just giving each other um, the benefit of the doubt and some understanding and some forgiveness around like any missteps that you know you or he or she or they might have. So let's dive back in again. Um, in your energy, you are dealing with sort of the repercussions of a conflict that you've might, you might have had with your partner, some conflict around this emotional connection, this romantic con connection that you have. Sorry, I'm having trouble getting my words out. The other, your partner, they, um, they, they're stuck in the past. They, they've sort of turned their back on the present moment and they're looking out to, um, they're either in the future or they're in the past. I get the sense they're in the past. They're looking out towards the, you know, out to the horizon um, and waiting and waiting and waiting and sort of stuck on um, an emotional situation that has happened. It's already happened, it's in the past. Um, the composited energies are juggling a lot of responsibilities, um, feeling like things aren't quite right, like something didn't settle well. And um, it could be around this conflict, it could have to do with the conflict, like the conflict, because it's the Five of Swords, doesn't feel like a victory. It feels like even though somebody seems to have won the conflict or come out on top of the conflict, um, it doesn't feel good to either party, to, to either person engaged in the conflict and maybe that's what this reverse justice card is about um something doesn't feel right and didn't settle right something feels unjust and then um just feeling like out of sorts about it ungrounded um out of your element um out of out of sorts you're both you're both struggling a little bit here um potentially because of the conflict the understanding what needs to be integrated is that um, sometimes people are learning about their emotions as they happen and um, it surprises them as much as it might surprise other people. Sometimes it's difficult to communicate um, around your emotions, but I see that this person wants to and they're learning how to do that. And so offering some understanding and some forgiveness um, both ways, both ways. Let us look at an approach for you, Capricorn. What can Capricorn do or what should they do? Um, how should they move forward in this situation with their, their love partner um, through April 2019? Okay, so two cards, three cards flew out here. I'm gonna look at all of them. We have the porcupine upright. We have um, the dog, the dog fell out in reverse, 
and we have the frog. I know frog is about cleansing, so I'm not going to read that description. Um, it's really about taking some time to cleanse yourself of old emotions so that you can come correct. You know what to do. You know what works for you. Is it a bath? Is it a hike? Is it just literally some time away from people, um, some solitude with yourself, some meditation? Is it going to, you know, the crystal shop? And is it, you know, getting a tarot reading? Uh, it could be something completely different. Do what makes you feel good. It makes you feel like centered. Um, in order to write some of this, like, ah, I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm in my element energy. Um, we have porcupine. Let's read a little bit about porcupine. This is, again, your approach in moving through this relationship or this situation inside of your relationship. Um, and it's 12. This is, these are the medicine cards by Samson Carson. Um, I love them. I love how they clarify the other cards and how they just really pull everything together. The porcupine is about innocence. So it could be speaking to this page of cups. Um, through understanding the basic nature of this animal, you may come to understand your own need for trust and faith and for becoming like a child again. In today's society, this is needed a needed reminder to honor the wonder of life and the appreciation of each new day as an adventure of discovery. In choosing the porcupine card, you have given yourself a gentle reminder not to get caught in the chaos of the adult world where fear, greed, and suffering are commonplace. The medicine in this card is that of relief from seriousness and severity. Open your heart to those things that you gave that gave you joy as a child. Remember the preciousness of fantasy and imagination and the making of some game or toy from nothing but scraps. Honor the playfulness of spirit that lets everyone win. Okay, so yeah, it spoke to like the fact that fear and greed and anxiety can overwhelm and they often seem like a common experience that happen on a daily basis. Um, in this card, it shows no winner, that the apparent winner hasn't even won. Nobody feels like a winner here. And in the porcupine card, it says, honor the playfulness of spirit that lets everyone win. So maybe that's a key for you or a clue um, to embody that place or that spirit of innocence and begin to play um, at life and play inside of your relationship so that you can both be... Um, you can both be winners. You can both feel like you're connected and winning at something at your relationship, maybe. Um, and then we have dog reversed. Remember, dog came out reversed. So let's read a little bit about dog reversed. Dog is about loyalty. In the contrary position, dog may be telling you that you have become critical or mean due to the company you are keeping. The reversal of this medicine card could also imply that it's time to stop cowering with fear and time to begin tackling the adversaries of your confidence. The key is to realize that these are not external enemies, but thought forms in your own mind, which tell you that you are not worthy of loyalty, either to yourself or to others. You may want to examine the patterns of disloyalty in your life. Do you, for example, pass on gossip or not speak up when someone else is rumor mongering? Do you make jokes that belittle others? Do you refuse to return kindness. These are characteristics of fear, and particularly of a fear that is common to the human two-legged family, the fear of not belonging or of not being approved of. Reclaim the power of loyalty to self and self-truths. Become like dog, your own best friend. I feel like that's speaking to the conflict that is happening here inside of your relationship. Um, and it does seem like there's a need on the part of both of you to get connected with your feelings and your emotions and come together and make offerings to one another, um, to make an emotional offering um, so that you can reconnect inside of this energy of, I don't know, like where, where you're both winning, where you're both equality, equanimity, um, as opposed to experiencing this vibe which is like um it's about inequality it's about um it's about uh, abuse of power all right 
Thank you so much for joining me for this reading. Um, if you like the reading, please hit the, the thumbs up button so the reading can circulate amongst other people. Other, other people can see it um, that might need to uh, hear it. And remember to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, and you can follow me on Instagram at Lunasync. Um, I hope you have a beautiful April. And remember to cleanse. Remember to cleanse, remember to play so that you both can win. Play in a way, play in a way where you both can win. How about that? I like that. And remember to um, be loyal, make an, make an offering, an emotional offering. Come from a place of emotion and offer understanding and forgiveness around other people's growth and development. Um, emotionally, other people's emotional growth and development. I hope you have a beautiful spring and check back in, in in a couple days. I'm doing the new moon readings for air, water, earth, and fire. Um, namaste.